Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have uh, the Oxford SBC to review. Uh, this is a Bundesliga CDM that offers you medium high work rates. So that's the whole purpose of using him. So yes, his dribbling stats are not necessarily the greatest, but uh, that's not really the purpose of the card, right? So six foot four, medium high, right footed, three star skills, four star weak foot, in-game player traits. He has no traits, in-game attributes. Uh, the card in game guys is actually a lengthy player if you end up giving him the anchor chemistry style right so oh, that's the wrong screen sorry my monitor popped through the day for somebody that watched the reviews so that's why it does that now um yeah did i do reviews today i was about to say i'm like oh no i didn't do any monitor shares i'm like oh i messed up one of the the uh, videos today that's for sure um yeah what's interesting about this car is that they gave him 99 shot power or for the sake of getting him 99 shot power, I mean, we could try it, but, like, you're not really going to use that that often, you know? Like, that's it's just funny that they just randomly gave him those two stats. They're just, like, just throw something random in there. Guys, the whole, pot, the whole like, uh, situation with you using this card is to be your defensive-oriented player, right? So that's what we're going to be testing out mostly. Um, he's got 99 shot power. He's got 99 finishing. Uh, passing stats is pretty good for short passing and long passing, so that's definitely a W for sure. Um... Dribbling, his agility, balance, and dribbling is low, but with this card in game, I mean, you could technically use him as a center back, depending on how you're actually formatting your squad, uh, rotating him from center mid, right back, CDM, all that good stuff. Uh, defensive stats will be in a decent area. Some people are actually deciding whether or not to give him the shadow because the shadow does give him a uh, really good defensive boost, right? So uh, the pace boost with a 91, 94, while giving him better defensive stats with decent physical capabilities. I mean, you can't really go wrong with that, right? If you want to try that out. Uh, but it just depends. There's no right or wrong when it comes to lengthy or the controlled for a card like this. It really just depends on what you feel like you want the most, right? Some people want that extra pace because controlled players are pretty fast nowadays. And obviously, in his case, he would get extra defensive capabilities, which would not be uh, a huge problem, right? Uh, so for physical stats, Anchor Chemistry style will be boosting it to be as high as possible as well. Uh, so yeah, we'll be testing all of that in game. Uh, we'll be using him in the right side or on the right side, the left side, because we're also going to be trying out, uh, the Graven Birch card as well. So am I going to try out shot power? I mean, probably not to be honest with you guys. Cause it's like you have 99 shot power. Sure. You can score if you do get into those situations, but how often are you actually going to shoot with Oxford? Probably not that often. Like I think what you would use mostly is maybe like heading if that's what he ends up getting himself into, but you know. Anyways, we're going to be trying him out in the CDM position. He's going to be on stay back while attacking, cut pass lane, cover center, and we'll see how he plays in game. Hopefully he's a beast. Nice, Oxford. Oh, really emphasized there. A little dangerous. Makes a run for me, actually. Nice driven pass to the bottom. Oh, nothing there. Unlucky. Yeah, just get that interception quick. Nice. Picked up the pace a little bit right there. That was good. Nice. Definitely got to be careful of that dribbling with Oxford. Oh, a little bit of double pressure right there. Nothing crazy special there with Oxford. Nice, that was Oxford AI. Oxford. Oh, puts a little bit of uh, weird pressure on the attacker there for us to get that ball. Yeah, the dribbling a little bit you got to work with, not gonna lie. 
Block. Defensive player Oxford. Oh, skipping away. But was able to do his job defensively in the end. Delightful pass. Good sir. And could it be Mario Good sir? Cool. It was the first save that really stood out. That was a brilliant piece of goalkeeping. Good sir. Really vital in this. Yeah, right. Imagine I actually got that attack with Oxford out of all people. I should be able to get that. Good stuff, Oxford. Di Maria. Just ten minutes from nice. Good job, good job, good job. Call close. Well, there to intercept. We also got the ball. Let's go. Yeah, I just used the uh, double tap R1 to kind of make him track back since I overcommitted center back a lot. Click that quick. There we go. Sheesh, Oxford just did the thing to him, bro. Well done, Oxford. I wasn't even uh, wasn't even controlling that guy there. He tries to do the thing against me, but we're out here on these streets with Oxford. Oxford again. Oxford again. Nice. I'll take a foul there every single day of the week, my G. Every single time, my guy. Yeah, just gotta be mindful of the dribbling a little bit. It's the same with Palinga, though. You gotta be mindful of his dribbling, too. Him having the reach there was actually super helpful. I'll take that, too. Well positioned. Sloppy in possession from the Invincibles. We're inside the final ten minutes of this one. This could square the game. And it has some late excitement. And no wonder they're jumping for joy as we speak. He actually sticks in a foot there, that's good. Well done, Oxford. Good stuff, good stuff. Guys, I mean, to be fair, for like 30-something K, I mean, he's he's doing what he's supposed to be doing. Like... I guess track back is like good enough too. Like, I don't really... I don't see where the dislikes come from, to be honest, unless there's like a better CDM that's medium high. Look, that was all him. AI again. Nice, nice, nice. I was actually close to being a good pass. That was a good pass by Oxford. Good pass. Getting uh, Diaby on his left foot. Good little finish. Oh, I was about to say, I'm actually going to score with him? That, was all, that wasn't a great shot, though. I'll tell you that much. It was, like, right in the middle. Could have gone in, though. Oh, Oxford, come on, mate. I'll take it. Gotta work with the transition a tiny bit. But if you do, I mean, he's got the height for it, you know? With the defending. No! Okay, guys. So, final verdict on the Oxford card. So... Uh, guys, the whole purpose of using this card on your team is going to be for defensive capabilities. Now, whether or not you choose to give him 
uh, the anchor chemistry style or the shadow chemistry style, he does actually offer some pretty decent defensive capabilities, right? So because of the fact that he is a six foot four player, you know, high and average plus body type, I wish it was high and average, high and average is usually a, a way better cutoff, but because he's a high and average plus body type for those extra reach interceptions, standing tackles, sliding tackles, it is very helpful to work with. Now, with the chemistry style choices, it's really going to depend on what you notice the most. Like if you want your midfielders to kind of occupy more long distance runs, you're obviously going to be giving him the anchor chemistry style, but controlled would not be a horrible thing to give him because you give him a really huge defending boost because when it comes to physicality of the card, he's already six foot four with a high and average plus body type. So that part alone is going to be your physical attributes. Now with the anchor chemistry style, what's nice to work with is that little bit of extra strength uh, and aggression, right? While working with a player that's lengthy because he'll still do some of the runs from time to time, right? Where he can actually track back and defend well enough. Now with this card, obviously there's nothing like crazy special about him, but the SBC being at 38k is not horrible value for a card that you're mainly going to be using in a defensive way obviously with people nowadays they're going to probably want cards that are going to feel a little bit more meta in game obviously but for the bundesliga link ups that you have to work with um i don't i can't think of anybody else that offers what he offers with the medium high work rate so let's see here right so the work rates uh which one is it it is this one yeah Okay, so defensive work rate high, and then the attacking work rate will do medium. And then we'll just go to the Bundesliga here. Bundesliga. And we'll just go to CDMs. The center backs, obviously, there's going to be a few center backs, right? I mean, guys, there's no other option here. It's 38k for Reese Oxford. He's the only medium high work rate card that performs okay in game. He even has the four star weak foot, which is obviously very helpful to work with. A lengthy player that has decent pace to work with. You know, the, I guess the main thing is obviously the links because he's from uh, Augsburg in England. So the links aren't the craziest for those. But if you are building a Bundesliga team, this is not a bad SBC at 30 something K. It's pretty cheap to be honest with you. Like it's not bad whatsoever. Because like I said, there was a lot of moments like AI wise where he would defend well enough for me. Now, obviously, as a CDM, uh, one of the things that you notice the most is the on the ball movement, right? You have to be careful with the 78 agility, 67 balance, you know, 74 dribbling and stuff. But he still defended OK for me. He still defended really well. You know, the, the height works well with the body type for him to get those defensive situations. He still is a lengthy player on an anchor chemistry style. Like for me, I thought it was perfectly fine. I didn't really mind it whatsoever. So you know, it's a card that is not too expensive. 38k if you're trying. I guess the dislikes come from people mainly not really using like full Bundesliga teams that much. But he was okay, to be honest with you. Like, I, I didn't mind using him as a CDM whatsoever. Like, it's the only option you have to work with when it comes to Bundesliga players. So it's the only medium high work rate of dude that you can get. Unless you're okay with using like a high high or a high medium. But... That's really up to the person. So, yeah, it's not a terrible SPC. He's nothing crazy special, obviously, but they priced him as a good concept player, in my opinion. So one of those one, one of those types, in my opinion. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.